Hello, my name is Mark Abadi, this is Mark's Moments on Allergies and uh, Organic Living. We've really messed our, our, uh, our farming up by, by cultivating, over cultivating the land and really robbing it of all the essential minerals and natural products in using pesticides just to create the product. I mean, you can even grow an orange with absolutely no vitamin C, but it looks like a beautiful orange. But it actually has no vitamin C in it. That's possible. It's simple to understand that a vehicle is going to behave better. It's going to respond better if you put better fuel into it. And the more alive the fuel is, the more natural it is, the more vibrant it is, then the more your body, having evolved with that same vibrancy over millions of years, will know how to digest it, will know how to absorb the vital energy. So avoiding wherever possible processed foods, processed foods really does what it, I mean, how to, how to say it, it's like, it's like, Processed food is like this, taking a plank of oak, beautiful oak, mm, solid, or taking the same plank of oak, mushing it up, chipping it up into chipboard, and then gluing it back together into some sort of formica chipboard. That is the, exactly what's happening with food. You take a beautiful live bit of food, you mush it up, you crunch it up, you process it, you take out things, you add things back in, and then you present it. And yes, it might be a very cheap, versatile product, but it's not oak, and it won't perform the way oak does. It's not the vibrant food, and it won't perform the way the vibrant food does. So, avoid the processed foods. Secondly, the way we cook foods, very important. <sighs> try and keep it raw, try and keep it grilled, try and keep it lightly steamed. That's the idea. But back to the, the whole concept of organic living and allergies. We're allergic to things mainly because we avoid them, mainly because we, we're trying to vaccinate ourselves against things. And we take toxic things into our body which over, over process us. For example, milk. The milk, there's a difference between the T1 and T2 milk. And in Europe and America, we mostly have the T1 cows, which we're T2 animals. So a goat, so a sheep. Cows can either be T1 or T2. And this comes from a lot of research from the devils in the milk by a, a, a New Zealand uh, doctor. So the whole point is here that when we take T1 milk in, if it escapes the gut, if we have leaky gut syndrome, which of course all babies do, because that's how they get the cholesterol out of the gut because it's such a big molecule. But a lot of people have leaky gut syndrome. If it escapes the gut, actually it metabolizes in the body to, to block neurotransmitters in the brain. And in fact, mirror neurons have been indicated as being blocked which might be the case of why autism is created. So the milk you're drinking might create autistic reactions. Check it out, look into these things. So natural minerals, natural fibers, it, organic stuff, the whole point is you're avoiding the pesticides, so you avoid the toxins on there. They are literally poisons that we are thinking are so minute that they're not having an effect on us. But of course, small things have massive effects. That's the whole point that we're learning now in physics, in biophysics, in psychology that these small things have massive effects. So treat your body with light and love as often as you can. Organic, go for it. I used to think it was rubbish. <laughs> it's right. If you can establish that it's really organic, go for it. Because that's what it's all about, is, is, is eating vibrancy and you will feel mentally vibrant. You will enjoy this life more. Your body will be healthier. And we've no idea what all these genetically modified products are doing to us. Probably because the body isn't used to them, it's going to store certain things in different places and then the body at some point will go, hey, what the hell's that? We don't recognise it, let's go and destroy it. Uh-oh, cancer. We create cancer because the body goes to attack itself because it thinks that it's not right and it gets out of control. It's the immune system gone mad. We basically grow stem cells, we grow things in that area to destroy the area that's happening. That is, we don't know why. We've no one's got an idea of what cancer is. But that's a possible suggestion. So live organically, live naturally. Allergies, be good to yourself. Treat yourself with homeopath homeopathics. They're often very good. And start to breathe deeper. Start to recognize that your allergy can be connected to a psychological problem, a psychological fear, psychological pain. So let all the pains go, breathe through them. Thanks for listening. I'll speak to you soon.